Larry showers every morning. That's a simple statement. We have four words with two syllables each. In musical terms, these words give us four beats with two pulses per beat. Let's make things more visual to help us understand all this. Here's a short line that illustrates the time it takes to say a sentence. This length of time is called a measure. We split the measure into four equal segments, and each segment gets a word assigned to it. Larry showers every morning. Since each word takes up a quarter of the measure, we'll associate a quarter note to each word. Therefore, the time signature for this measure is 4-4. Four, four. The top number means 4 beats per measure, and the bottom number means 1 quarter note per beat. What we have here is an example of simple quadruple meter. The term quadruple refers to the 4 beats per measure, and the term simple refers to the simplest possible division of every beat into pulses, namely one beat split into two pulses. If we need to be explicit about the division of beats into pulses, we simply have to split each quarter note into two eighth notes and assigning one eighth note to each syllable. Larry showers every morning. Here's yet another simple sentence. Michael washes dishes. We have three words with two syllables per word, which means three beats with two pulses per beat. Since we have three words, we simply need three quarter notes for one measure of music. Michael washes dishes. The time signature for this measure is 3-4. The top number means three beats per measure, and the bottom number means one quarter note per beat. This pattern is an example of simple triple meter. If we need to display the pulses more clearly, we go from one beat per word to one pulse per syllable. Michael wash is dish is. And now let's cut things down to a two word sentence. Nancy giggles. We have two beats in this sentence, so we simply need two quarter notes for one measure of music. Nancy giggles. The time signature will be two four. Two beats per measure, one quarter note per beat, with two pulses per beat. Nancy giggles. This pattern is called Simple duple meter. All the words we've seen so far have two syllables. Larry, Michael, Nancy, morning, dishes. What if we venture into three syllable words? For instance, Natalie navigates. We still have two words, therefore two beats for one measure. However, we now have three syllables per word, therefore three pulses per beat. Natalie navigates. We have the option of keeping things in a time signature of 2-4 and then to split each quarter note into three equal subdivisions, one per pulse. The way to do this is by creating a triplet for each quarter note. Another option is to consider that the three pulses per beat remain eighth notes and that the note that takes each beat is not a quarter note, but actually a dotted quarter note, which by definition splits into three eighth notes. With two beats per measure, we fill one measure with two dotted quarter notes. The top figure of the time signature should be the number two, but there's a little problem. There simply is no whole number we could use to represent a dotted quarter note in the bottom figure of the time signature. Sure, we could get creative and write two and two thirds to symbolize the dotted quarter note, or we could flat out just draw a dotted quarter note instead of putting a number. But there's a more concise alternative to all this. Since we have two beats per measure, and each beat contains three pulses, we altogether have two times three equals six pulses per measure of music. So let our time signature be a six as the top number, and an eighth as the bottom number, since each pulse gets an eighth note. Although the top number is a six, we still have to consider this as duple meter, since we still have two beats per measure. But since each beat gets three pulses, we call it compound duple meter, basically because we have the two pulses per beat from simple meter plus one extra pulse, all three compounded inside one beat. If we go into compound triple meter, we have three beats per measure with a triple pulse per beat. Melanie decorates everything. 
We have three words giving our three beats with three pulses per beat. In total, we get nine pulses per measure. The top figure of the time signature will be a nine and the bottom figure stays an eight for each eighth note given to each pulse. One step further and we have compound quadruple meter. Lazarus barbecued vegetables yesterday. We have four beats with three pulses per beat. The top figure of the time signature will be a 12, since we have a total of 4 times 3 equals 12 pulses for one measure, and the bottom figure will stay an 8. There are some musical instructors that advocate the use of a note being printed as the bottom figure of the time signature, and to keep the number of beats as the top figure. This notation is more intuitive than the more cryptic but traditional numerical notation. For instance, we'd have a 4 with a dotted quarter note below it instead of 12-8, or even 3 with a quarter note on the bottom instead of 3-4. But to this day, most written music by far uses numerical time signatures. You just need to remember. When the top number of a time signature is a multiple of 3 except 3 itself, you're dealing with compound meter. The top number divided by 3 gives us the number of beats per measure. The bottom number tells us what kind of note gets each pulse within the beat. Like this video if you found it instructive and subscribe to this channel in order to stay up to date with all new content. There's a list of musical pieces in the description below that help you appreciate how these time signatures are actually heard in musical pieces. I'm also going to create a few examples and make a video out of them. So, until next time, when you open your ears, you open your mind. See you later.